Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and in this video tutorial for the LSP Golden Glass Digital Background shot by Anna Brandt, I'm going to be giving you a demonstration using the sleigh layer here. Now this, uh, this sleigh is great for, you can add anyone um, to the sleigh, but I'm going to be demonstrating with a newborn. So um, to first off, you need to make sure you have selected the place your subject here layer. If at any point, if this is the first tutorial you're watching, please do go back and watch the tutorial number one. This is the overview where I kind of, it's a get started guide. For this one, I'm just going to be jumping straight in, assuming that you've watched that video tutorial. So make sure you're on the place your subject here. And then come up here and choose File, Place Embedded, or if you're using the Actions, the LSP Digital Actions, you can use the um, Place Your Baby Action. But I'm going to show you how to do this by hand in case you don't have those time-saving actions um, on you. So, up here, File, Place Embedded, and locate the edited image on your computer. Select the image and hit Place. And you'll notice the image may appear um, covering your entire um, digital, that's fine. Come up here to the opacity and take it down a little bit. And this way you can resize the baby in um, where you would like them to be sitting within that sleigh. I'm using this sweet shot by Anna Brandt. So at this point you need to decide how big or how small your subject would need to be. Um, if in doubt, go a little bit small, um, but make sure they're filling the prop nicely because otherwise they could get lost um, within that prop. So because I'm using a semi side lay pose for this one, I'm just going to rest those fingers here on the edge. Probably going to leave the arm hanging over and mask everything else on the inside. Double click or hit enter. Come up to the opacity, turn it back up again. Now you're going to want to add a layer mask. So come down here, the little icons on the layers panel, and click the one that's like a rectangle with a circle inside. And you'll notice this has added a white layer mask box. White means show. Because the whole layer mask is white, this whole image is showing. Control or Command I, and that will invert the layer mask completely to black, meaning nothing is showing. So grab your brush, set to white. I like to use a medium flow and a medium hardness, and you can slowly start painting the baby in. Now don't worry too much if you go over the edges. I'm just paying attention right now, harden this brush up a bit, to not go over the edge of this sleigh too much. So it's about kind of dabbing in and painting where this baby would naturally be showing were they to be inside the sleigh. You can hit X on your keyboard to switch to black or use the little arrows here because black means hide. So you can use black to paint away anywhere you've gone too far over the edge. It is much quicker to hit X. You see here I'm hitting X and switching between black and white. So keep your finger on X when you're editing and you can switch between black and white so you can mask really quickly and easily. At this stage, I think I'm going to move baby a little bit. So Control or Command T. Let's just position baby's head a little bit nicer there. So at this point, I've edited baby in so that they are um, within the sleigh, they're inside. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that little elbow hanging out. So back on a white brush, I'm just going to start adding that in. Make the brush harder or softer, depending on which area. If you're, um, if you're compositing somewhere soft, like a very fluffy outfit, you can use a soft brush. If you're compositing a harder area, um, such as the props, um, for example, or a close-up area of the skin and fingers, you're going to want to use a harder brush. This way you won't get one of those kind of fluffy halos floating around your subject. So it's quite important that you can change the brush um, hardness as you go. And once you're happy with adding the baby in, whether they are completely within the sleigh, whether they are sitting up, whether they are whichever way they are, once you're happy, um, you'll notice you have a prop shading layer and also a subject shading layer. So you can click this. I recommend using a lower flow brush set to white and you can add some shading into the prop for example under baby's elbow here I'm just going to add some of that in just dabbing in a little bit under the baby's head too remember white means show black means hide and on the subject shading um, layer so click the layer mask and I'm just going to use this to add a little bit of um, darker shading into the subject layer just to shadow them in a little bit more where they'd naturally be 
So that's adding a subject into the sleigh prop. Um, you can use your own techniques for that. You don't have to follow exactly my tutorial. This is just one of a million ways you can use Photoshop to add um, and composite subjects in. That's just the way I prefer to do it. And if you're in doubt about um, compositing subjects at all, then I recommend you download the LSP Actions, uh, let's get the actions up, Digital Background, um, Assistant Photoshop Actions here. They have um, actions for adding the baby in, editing, editing layers around the baby, blending colours, blending whites and darks, background edit, everything's in there. Also comes as an e-guide book um, to compositing, so you can learn exactly how to composite. If you feel a little bit out of your depth, I really recommend that one. Uh, this digital background is available at uh, www.lsp-actions.com and you can get that there as well as the bucket, the sleigh, the dough bowl, the shallow bowl and the empty background layer that also comes in um, and you can turn the sparkles and the texture and things like that on and off. So enjoy that digital background, I can't wait to see what you do with it. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.